Breaking development coming in from the national capital. We are getting this another political scoop from the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Now just weeks after governor's rule was imposed, Republic gets this political scoop from Kashmir where the BJP is insisting on a Hindu CM in the Kashmir Valley. BJP is in touch with dissenting PDP MLAs and is pitching for a Hindu chief minister. In fact, uh, this is important because Jammu and Kashmir till date ha has not had any kind of a Hindu chief minister. Uh, we've had, uh, you know, people from the Kashmir Valley which have been in fact uh, you know a uh, part of the cabinet so this is a historic move if this is confirmed by the bjp but top sources indicating for the first time there could be a pitch in for a hindu cm in the state of jammu and kashmir and this ahead of the 2019 general elections ashwarya kapoor a political editor joining us uh, on this story to give us more perspective ashwarya uh, what are the la latest that we are picking up this will be a historic move ahead of the 2019 general elections uh, certainly a hindu cm uh, in the state of Jammu and Kashmir, that's something rare. That's something out of the box that the BJP is thinking. As I say, for the first time in the history of independent India, if the state of Jammu and Kashmir can see a chief minister which is not from the from the traditional, uh, if we could say, uh, the valley, this is something which the BJP is trying to do. They are trying to play the Hindu card there. Um, keeping in mind that that will not only have uh, ramifications or other reverberations in the state of Jammu and Kashmir, but it will have a nationwide impact because this is something which the, which the BJP has been seeing, but we need to join the dots. So what is happening is that the number of dissenting PDP MLAs Adhitya, is increasing with, with every passing day. It began from 8, it went to 10, and now it's up to 14. So that is the number which BJP has in support, but it has made apparently very clear to all of these 14 dissenting PDP MLAs that first and foremost you need to come out of PDP, form your own party, then you need to support one principal cause and BJP's one principal cause is they want a Hindu chief minister and if that happens they are ready to make all of these 14 dissenting MLAs of the PDP as ministers, few of them as cabinet ministers, few of them as MOS and also chairmanship has been discussed. So yes, all of those modalities have been discussed but one primary condition of BJP to support those dissenting right. MLAs and then form the government again is to have a Hindu face because that BJP field is going to have a reverberating impact across the country and that too, right prior to 2019, as you just said. Well, Ashwarya Kapoor breaking some very important details. Republic TV yet again has a political scoop from Jammu and Kashmir. We were the first to tell you how PDP is dissenting for the first time. We were the first to, in fact, interview Imran Ansari, uh, a very close aide of Mehboob Mufti in the past, who has been a youth leader as well of the PDP, topmost Shia leader. He was one of the first to dissent and say uh, that Mehboob Mufti has been incompetent. And there was a meeting between Ram Adam and Sajad Lone as well. In the last three days, Sajad Lone also camping in the national capital. Ashwarya, what uh, we are breaking here on Republic TV could have larger consequences as well. But are you saying that the 14 uh, MLAs that are in touch with the BJP top leadership are aware about this call and could support the BJP on their own conditions, on their own chief minister? And that could certainly have consequences uh, on the general elections, uh, we will get Ashwarya back uh, on the phone line, but this is something historic. This is being under talks in the last few days. Uh, we've had a meeting between Ram Madhav, Sajad Lone and some of the top leaders of the BJP uh, in Srinagar just a few days ago when Ram Madhav was there to visit the Amarnath. Uh, and apart from that, Sajad Lone also camping in the national capital, perhaps to meet BJP leader Amit Shah uh, in the last couple of days. There is also a lot of talk about uh, that Sajad Lone could in fact meet the Prime Minister as well. Uh, two crucial people who have been in negotiations and who have been in touch with all the crucial players in this case are, of course, Sajad Lone and Indran Ansari, according to top sources. Now, could these dissenting PDP MLAs agree to the fact that they need to, in fact, support the BJP? Because remember, BJP has 25 MLAs. The dissenting could have 14 uh, MLAs out of the PDP and there could be some independence as well. Or will there be some uh, MLAs of the NC and the Congress that might also plan to join this new alliance in the state of Jammu and Kashmir? This perhaps would be the first time that the BJP on their own might, uh, might be coming to power if the government formation is really done. Top sources also indicating to us that for now the governor's rule will continue and this move could happen post the Amarnath Yatra. It's a huge step. Republic TV breaking this political scoop indicating that for the first time BJP might be playing the Hindu card in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. 
Will this uh, uh, be something that will create a controversy yet again? But who are these, uh, uh, you know, people or leaders that BJP could consider again a topic of discussion? But this is a big political scoop that we are breaking here on Republic TV that for the first time in the independent India, in the state of Jammu and Kashmir, which has seen a lot of violence, terrorism again, we are in fact seeing BJP could play the Hindu card and in fact pitch in for a Hindu chief minister.